This is brother versus brother, no rules. I am ready for a new competition because I have an idea. Okay. A new rule structure. I think this will be pretty amazing. Okay. Last time we competed in Drew's neighborhood with houses that he chose, and I know I can beat him if it's an even competition, so here's my idea. This year, there are no rules. No Wait. rules at all. How do, we, how do we do the competition with no rules? That doesn't make any sense. How do we know who wins? Buy what you want, wear you want, for however much you want, spend however much you want, and when we sell, Whoever has more profit wins. It looks like you just broke his brain. <laughs> no rules? What is Jonathan thinking? No, really, what is he thinking? Because this feels to me like he has some crazy plan up his sleeves already. You know what, I actually, I have a secret weapon that will far outweigh whatever LA insight you think you can bring to this competition. I don't know what this Hold is. For it. I don't know what this is either. He's trying to just this out. Yes, hi. Meet oh. Agent Z. Hi. Of course. <laughs> Are you teaming up against me? What's going on, guys? Oh, he did have something up his sleeve. You can't trust that guy in his plaid sleeves. Well, are you like a realtor in the making? I grew up here, so I know all the neighborhoods. She has better knowledge. She's okay. better looking. She has everything that you don't have I, to bring to the table. He seems very confident. So, you, have you been planning this what? since the moment you lost? Absolutely. You and I actually have a property in mind. You've already been doing your research for this? OK. I accept your terms. I accept that you've brought on somebody who knows the city more than I do. But I'm going to start hunting for a house. Cheers. See Cheers. Good luck. Mission accomplished, because he is already squirming. You, you're throwing him <laughs> off big time. I'm usually all about the rules, and then I figure out how to work around them. But Jonathan's idea for this competition has me really excited. As long as I can find the right house. Oh, well, this is good. And by good, I mean awful. In the right neighborhood that is the perfect property for flipping. And then I can just watch him squirm as I win for the second time in a row. This house looks like it's been destroyed, which is perfect. I will make it pretty. I know that Drew's the type to stretch my no rules idea as far as he can, but it won't matter because Zoe found me the perfect house in the perfect area. What do you think? I think we should get it. I think it's a special property. I think it's an amazing yeah. property. Do I have to give you the commission or does it come straight off of I the I uh, legally can't take a commission. <laughs> yeah, saving money all <laughs> over the place. <laughs> I should have packed a lunch for that drive. Got it. Just because you live by the water doesn't mean there aren't other valuable neighborhoods. I've never actually been mm. over here. Oh, my gosh. Ah? <laughs> uh? Hold on. Don't breathe. It might, fall, it might over. fall over. <laughs> I bought this house for $850,000, which actually feels like a steal compared to what others are going for in the neighborhood. It was built in 1939, and it has not been touched since then. When I'm done, this will be the dream. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have no money left when you're done. Ready to be amazed? I do like the door. The door's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. I mean, as far as like a before and after, this is going to be awesome. It's yeah. just you're going to have to spend a lot. I mean, even are you going to do central air? Or are you? I'm not telling you anything that I'm doing. I'm adding the most value I can possibly add. Yeah. Drew is so excited about this fixer upper, but this house needs three months of renovations just to get to fixer upper status. So right now it's just a money pit. I feel good. Right. I feel confident. But we do have a year to get over to my place, so <laughs> let's start the journey. There were two key things that Zoe and I made sure we had in my house for this competition. A house by the ocean, because having the beach at your doorstep is a huge selling point. And we wanted an area that's in high demand so that I'm guaranteed a good sale price no matter how much money I put into my renovation. We found all of this in the beautiful neighborhood of Westchester. I mean, come on. Cuteness overload. It's cute. Walkable streets. Yeah. Nice neighborhood vibe. Is this it? And how cute is this? I bought this house for $1.25 million, a bit more than I was hoping to spend, but unlike Drew's place, this one is in good condition and won't need a ton of structural work. There's one small thing that keeps distracting me. Hold on. I bet you can't guess what it is. Hold I'm, on. I'm sorry. I can't <laughs> hear you. The airport is right on the other side of those houses. Jonathan raved about being by the beach, but funny how he left out that he's right next to the airport. You literally have to cross through baggage claim just to get onto his street. I feel so good. I think you picked the right house for this competition. Get to it? Because I'm definitely going to win. Oh, thank you for the good laugh. I needed that. 
<laughs> oh, look at this. Welcome to Mikasa. You'll see a little bit of 70s flair. My house is the exact opposite of Drew's, and so is my strategy. Spend more to buy the house, spend way less on my renovation budget, and then make a great profit because the neighborhood has so much going for it, airport proximity included. I think that you're definitely playing it safe with this house. There's a difference between safe and insane. Did you just? Uh, no, I was. I heard a plane again. I... <laughs> All right, all right. This is it. This is our baby. Very nice. I know the space is going to be beautiful when it's done. Here's what I want to do. We'll use the existing porch area to build a new entry addition with a full coat closet for storage and a powder room that will add a lot of value to the house. Inside, we'll close off the hallway to the bedrooms to create an entrance nook and open up the threshold to the living room to give it a much more welcoming flow. Then we'll get rid of the old dated fireplace to kick off our modern cottage aesthetic. Light hardwood floors will create a warm, inviting feel, and since the house will be 100% gas-free, a new electric fireplace with floor-to-ceiling dark stone and sleek bookcases on either side will create a striking feature wall that is sure to impress both buyers and the judges. Plenty of lush seating will finish off the look and make this the ultimate room for entertaining guests or relaxing with the family. Right now, I want to investigate what's going on behind the fireplace, see what's inside the wall. Yeah. Hopefully, all the demo is going to be that easy. All right. Are this you is... excited? Oh, yeah, baby. Can't wait to get going. Let the fun begin. Hello. So the plan in here is to add a little bit of function and flow. Okay. This is what I have in mind. We'll start in the front by building out the entranceway with a brand new coat closet addition that really sets the tone when you walk into the house. In the living room, we'll rip up the old dated floors and lay down wide, light hardwood that will transform the space out of the 1980s. I want this room to be eye-catching, so I'll do that with a beautiful wallpaper pattern accent with bold colors all around the room. Redoing the fireplace with a bright stone surround and mantle will completely modernize the look of the room. And to inject a little formal into the fun, we'll add tons of complimentary seating all around, creating the perfect space for family and friends to enjoy each other's company. My colorful, eclectic look is what will make this house stand out to buyers and leave the judges in awe. Are you competitive? <laughs> no, no, not at all. Jonathan and I like to have a little race from time to time. OK. So you can uh, get across the floor the quickest. Right, talking design in the midst of construction. <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks so good. Lauren is here from my design team, and we're trying to crack down exactly what the aesthetic is we want. I want to make sure that it's something that's inviting, but also something that's exciting. We are going for that kind of modern cottage feel. Mm -hmm. What do you think about doing a really nice, comfy sofa here that sort of yeah wraps around the room, and then it just sort of becomes that central entertainment area where everyone's just watching uh, TV. The snuggle zone. <laughs> you got to have the snuggle zone. So looking at our options, what are we thinking as far as our furniture? Love that. Super yes. cozy. And then we'll anchor everything with a nice big area rug. Yes. All right, so I will focus on getting the construction part of it done. And then once we get all the furniture awesome. in, it's going to be beautiful. Love to see it. Ooh, we are going to win this. I don't know what Jonathan's planning at his house, but there's no way he can compete with my new front entry addition. We've cemented where the new coat closet will be located, so Chris and I are prepping to frame out that and the new placement for the door. Oh, yeah. Speaking of the new doorway, keeping an original detailed piece from the house will add tons of charm to the new entrance. Look at that beauty. You are a beautiful door. But the thing I'm most excited about is framing out our new showstopper tray ceiling that will be the key to winning this challenge. Ah, I love this. And to top it off, Breeze from my design team is here to help add some oomph to every square inch of this living room. Breeze and I have worked together for so many years. She even worked on my house with me. We beat Jonathan on Brother vs. Brother last season, so she's like my property sister. I know we talked about a little pop color on the ceiling. Just yeah. Something very muted and subtle. Something nice and soft on the walls with a little bit of pattern with the paper that's not too in your face. 
Also, we want that pop of color and pattern in our furniture selection. I already found some great options. I have to say, actually, the sofa, the, the color sofa. is amazing. I mean, David and Kendra, they love color, they love pizzazz, oh. they love something that stands out. But can so. they judge the whole house? Because they're going to love this house. Sure, Drew and I are super competitive when it comes to these challenges, but we're still brothers, and I really do wish him the best. <laughs> but if I happen to maybe want to bring him an early housewarming gift to wish him luck, it's just the right thing to do. So when is the front door coming? So the front door is on its way. We can get this thing installed. If we do the... Almost immediately. This looks suspicious. Congrats, Drew! Huh. Kind of knew you could do it, but I still did it better. Jonathan. Interesting. What's this? Oh! Oh! Why? Can't you do a clean prank if it's so wow. messy? Bram, 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 bram. Congrats, Drew. You were doing such a great job. I felt nobody celebrates you as much as you should be celebrated. He always he thinks of pranks that he finds hilarious, but he doesn't think of how long. No, you know what? He probably does think of how long it'll take to clean up. That's the whole reason he did it. Did you wow. do this because you heard that I was going to add a little extra color to my design? Because yeah. this really does tie into the color scheme. Yeah, I wanted to give you every color possibility for your design. Oh, but guess what? There's uh, six more of them throughout the house. No rules! No rules! You suck! <laughs> The light hardwood floors create a perfect inviting tone to the living room, and the black doors and trim are giving the space that extra moody feel. If we're gonna create a cuddle zone, then we can't forget the electric fireplace that will set the mood while keeping the environment safe. And finally, we went for the custom bookshelves, and they look spectacular. Yeah, they did cost a little more than I would have liked, but it's worth it. <laughs> Problem solved. Well, it's been a few days of cleaning up confetti from everywhere, including my pants, but Team Drew is in the home stretch. The gas fireplace is being installed while the new tray ceiling is getting a wash of pale blue that will really accent the whole room. Our wallpaper selection is adding just the right amount of personality to the space, and the stone mantle will really tie everything together. White trim on the tray ceiling will make the blue color really pop, and speaking of color, our new old door is getting a final facelift of a light blue paint that really sets the tone for the whole house. This Ooh. is exciting. Now, actually, this is sort of like the brother versus brother veteran hanging out with Kendra. This yeah. is your first time judging <laughs> us. I mean, I don't know what you're going to think of these houses, but this is exciting because this is the very first challenge. You guys are kicking it off. Ooh. Woo! Oh, this is cute. Wow. Ooh. Honey, Hold on. we are home. Wow, so this is all new. I haven't, I didn't see this in the original photos. So they added all of this in. Wow. That's a lot of value added. Yeah. Every time I'm in a living room, I always have to sit down. You're not going to be standing in the living room. You want to see what's happening. I love the color palette they chose, whoever it was. Yeah. I think the space planning is flawless. I think the size of the sofa and the size of the furniture is perfect. Half bath. Oh, Ooh, that's cute. Gorge. I've been seeing that green tile a lot lately in these really expensive homes I'm in. Could you sell this house? It Anyone. sells itself. I would want to buy it. Yeah. To the next place. You ready? Yeah. Are you going first? Oh, my. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Wow. How cute is this? Oh. Wow. This is new. They added all this on. Oh, wow. Because the door. That was not here before. Oh, it's <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> this is fun. I love this fireplace. This looks like they redid the fireplace here. And that's why I like it, because there's a history here. I love the shape of the the, the ceiling. I think it's so unique. It's so the cool. Is so great. People are so <laughs> afraid to put color on yeah. the ceiling, especially when there's a unique ceiling like this. This is a hard decision. These are two very extremely different styles here. Give it to us. So Let the winner of the living room challenge is. Hillside. Hillside. Yeah. Yeah. Why? I was so sure. No, you, you yeah. Yeah. So what, what was the deciding factor? Just pure wealth factor. I love them both, but you know, I, I love how unique this this is.